Welcome back to today. Now for a sweet, sweet story. And there can't be anybody in Australia who hasn't got stuck into a packet of Whiz Fizz. The iconic packet of sherbet is celebrating its 70th birthday, wow. can you believe? And today's Christina Hearn was like a kid in a lolly shop when she got invited to the Melbourne factory. Take a look. Sugar, how you get so fly. I think it just shows that people don't change. Whiz hasn't changed, kids don't change. It's a spoonful of sugar that's been going down a treat for the last 70 years. The humble bag of sherbet all started with founder Arthur Campbell in 1947, and it's proved to be a recipe for success. And it hasn't changed? Hasn't changed. Not one little bit? Not one little bit. Now his son Terry runs the company, the Melbourne Finer Food Factory, employing around 100 staff. Are you Willy Wonka? Absolutely. All the whispers I can handle? All the whispers you can handle. That's a lot of whispers. I've got a perfect puzzle for you. Why do you think people love whispers so much? It's got to be the flavour. There's nothing like whispers. Sour, sherbety, fizzy. It's a lot of fun on the tongue, I think. It's nice, but you never eat the product, all right, sometimes, because you, you see too many. <laughs> you never eat the product, are you sure? You test the product, and then you walk away, because you see too many. Oompa, oompa, doompa, dee, da. This is it. This is the secret room I'm taking you into. This is where all the fun happens. This is the whiz fizz room. This is it. Let's go and have a look. So what we can see happening here is we've got someone standing up the top making sure there's a spoon to go into every sachet. And the sherbet is dropped into each sachet with a spoon. It gets sealed, dropped down onto the conveyor. Eleven million packets of whiz fizz are produced per year. Not to mention the sherbet cones, which contains the same sweet sugary product. I think for quality control, Gillian, I need to taste the whiz fizz. Well, that's pretty essential to the process. Let's go into the tasting room. This is where actually the sherbet is made itself. Part of this sugary treat success is that Arthur was, well, a whiz when it came to marketing, teaming up with Disney in 1955. My grandfather was quite an entrepreneur. He managed to get a 30-year lease on the Disney characters. This family-run company has weathered the financial storms that have claimed other confectionery names, which makes this 70th birthday as sweet as they come. It's not a party without whiskers. <laughs> All right. How good is wow. that? They're the so fizz. good. They're fantastic. Bit of fun on your tongue. Yes. Great. So what a great little Australian uh, factory yeah. there too. Yeah. Um, I love the whiz fizz. Going really strong too. Yeah. Dickie, you, do you like whiz fizz? Sure. I'm going to nick one. <laughs>